fun. Um, hey kids, what the fuck is up with you people? I'm um, back again, wearing a hat, it's cold. Uh, back again with, uh, with another vid vid for folks who are here for it. Um, again, this week, lazy. So what we're doing is I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about my trip and just like the first half, Tulum, because Tulum was dope. But we'll do it in segments um, in my week and what's been going on with my life. And that's it. So um, my week so far, I got back two days ago. Yesterday, I have kind of unpacked. You can see my room is a fucking mess. But that's because I'm lazy and I also have not done anything the past two days because I've been procrastinating my life. Which you know happens. She happens sometimes. And you just gotta accept that that's 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 what it what it do, baby. Um but yeah, so past two days I have kind of unpacked, kind of not really. I cooked today. I've been making some nice bowls, uh fruit bowls with the yogurt. And uh today I cooked the salmon. It was yummy, um, but tomorrow we're going on a juice cleanse, okay? You hear that? It's a cleanse using juice. So, let you know how that goes. It's three days and I'm going to die because I really like snacks. Um, yeah, that has happened. What else has happened? I got a TikTok. You heard me right. It is a talk that I tick on. Um, I've posted six videos in the past day. Two days, 24 hours, 72 hours, one of them. Um, so safe to say I am not a TikToker. Um, I know it's controversial. I think that, that that Vine is great. I think that TikTok might might have some merit to it. I'm not saying that one is better than the other at this point in time. I just think that the sounds, using the sounds to inspire you really does help generate some it's a little bit easier you know you're not always you're not just you i i don't know man i don't know um so that's that juice cleanse tiktok you can follow i'll put my tiktok somewhere uh if i can figure out how to do that but if i can't then sorry um yeah okay so we are moving on to my trip. So as you can tell, I am a golden brown goddess right now. Um, it was very good. Spent two weeks in Mexico. We started off in Tulum, which was great. Um, very easy to get to. So take a couple buses from the airport and then you're there. And I can't remember how much it cost. It was probably like 50 bucks to get there, which is not too bad. But yeah, it takes like two to three hours kind of by bus. And then we stayed in a hostel for the first few nights. Um, I'll insert a video. I balled out and bought the penthouse suite. I don't know why, but it was very, 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 very nice. So we got this kitchen area. I don't know what this door leads to. A water cooler, okay. All right. Um, some chairs outlooking our own private pool area. All right. This. We got this patio out here. It's boffin. Nice little pat patio. All right, look at that. She's booge. So far, so good. Okay, now moving on to the next rooms. 
One of these is the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that you were in there. Oh, we have this nice bathroom here. This is actually the bathroom. The, oh, wow. The shower is not a thing, hey? It doesn't have like a tub. And um, what is this other room that we have in here? A closet? <laughs> I turned it away. Oh, we have two bathrooms. Hello, babe. His and hers. <laughs> okay, so this is what we thought was a communal balcony. And this is what we thought was the other penthouse suite. Now, as you can see, clearly, this is just another room. And we walk out here. We have a bathroom out here, just, you know, in case. Um, oh, what's up here? A shower. Oh my God, we have an outdoor shower. <gasps> hey, what a thought. We have some seating, some little bar area. And then the kicker is that we actually have our own little cool pool. So, what the fuck? Um, the hostel itself is called Che or Chi or Ch, Ch, I don't fucking know, Tulum. Um, it was supposed to be a party hostel. But let me tell you, this hostel did not have any bumping things going on at night. So, it was still fairly cheap, like for what we got there. Um, I paid 300 for two nights in the penthouse suite. So if you're actually like staying in a hostel, the rooms I think were only like 20 bucks a night for like a single room or something. But yeah, definitely not a party hostel. Then we moved to a kind of ratchet place for three nights, but that was fine. Cause we just went out and did stuff. And then we left Tulum. Actually we stayed one more after that, but then we left Tulum. The second one or the third one, I have a video of it. That one was really cute. I think it was like 60 bucks a night or something. Um, yeah, so Tulum. When people hear Tulum, or when I hear Tulum, I think about all the, uh, the Instagram peoples out there and they're all uh, on the beach. And um, yeah, it's very like, this is an Instagram place. But that was only the beach. So the beach was like a like a 20 minute bike ride from town. Okay, we're at a, a beach club. Um, literally was so overwhelming trying to figure this all out. This beach club thing was like, what the hell is a beach club? But they're private beaches. And we got drinks on the way. We didn't have to pay a minimum spend, which is nice. I'll show you the view. This thing is and we stayed in town, so town was great. It was fairly reasonably priced, which was nice. Um, always go for the street tacos. I think it was like two bucks for four tacos, which was great. Um, don't sleep on the Italian food. Some mans told us that, and we would have otherwise, but my God, it looks really fucking good. So Italian food is is very yum there. Yum, yum city, as I've been saying of late. Um, yeah, everything there was great. And then you make your way down the streets you, via bike, via taxi, via a colectivo, but those come pretty infrequently and they were really small. So we used a bike, we biked down the roads and down these roads, we went to the beach, okay? Now there is a public beach that was literally the size of my room, okay? Filled with like people and it was not, it was, it was not, I mean, it's a beach on the ocean, but there was like nothing there, nothing around. And so what you have to do if you wanna go to the beach in Tulum is you have to go to one of these beach clubs where 
oftentimes, based on my Google searches, they charge a minimum spend, which is like 50 to 100 to $150, which goes as a credit towards food and drinks while you're there. So if you're gonna be laying down on the beach cabanas, then like realistically, if you're going there, you're probably gonna spend that anyways, because everything is super overpriced, but they like force you to spend that much money, which kind of sucks. But the one that we went to won, with a name, uh, I'll find it somewhere. Azure something, A something. Um, Aiken, Aiken Beach Place, Beach Club. And they were like, we don't have a minimum spend today. You're welcome to just like hang out and like buy stuff. Obviously we did. We ended up spending like a hundred bucks just cause drinks and foods and stuff are expensive. But it was definitely worth it. Um, the beach itself in Tulum is so nice but it's because they've like combed the fuck out of it like there is nothing there like they like are constantly sweeping and like combing algae out of the water so like it's nice but it's also like forcibly made that way but honestly for like a day it was totally fine um the other thing about tulum beach area okay uh they really like their yoga down there. It's like very, um, very like hippie, dippy rehab, celebrity rehab, find yourself kind of vibes, okay? Uh, we Googled one place that was said to have like, so the page that we looked for for beach clubs was this article that had them listed. And like, one of them was like, oh, this place is so boho. Like if you're looking for boho, this is the place to go. Then like the one below it was like, okay, now this place is minimalist boho. So if you want boho, but not too much boho, but you still need boho, that's the place. And then there was one that was like, we, um, we have world-class consumption centers. Okay, brackets, restaurants and bars. So that's kind of the vibe that you get there is consumption centers and yoga and combed beaches, but it was great to spend a day there. And overall Tulum was bopping. So, Let's play the highlight reel and let's fucking end this bitch. Hang on. It's not a pick. Oh, it's a video? Mm hmm. Okay. Look at this. These holes in the ground.